So we're brewing Scarlet today. It is a limited release beer that we uh, began making last fall. A Scarlet is a, a red rye. It's actually the reddest beer we've made. Really more malt forward beer than we're typically making. It's not as hoppy as most of our other beers, which gives some nice contrast. I'm Forrest Gray, I'm the president and founder of Speakeasy Brewery, and we're here in our new tap room that we've opened up about a year ago, welcome. So I started home brewing, and I ended up with seven taps in my house and a chest freezer with a thermostat, and I had you know 14 beers were going on in there, and it was completely out of control, actually. It was meant to be kind of a, a proving ground, and can this be something that I could do? I was a, a scientist at the time, and, and I enjoyed my job, but I kind of thought I wanted to do something more on my own. Obviously the brewery was small for a long time. Yeah, this is the original brew house. The recipes have changed, but the equipment's all the same. So just the opportunity to brew under three different head brewers here before I took over yeah. gave me a very different perspective on writing recipes for each person. I think that's helped make our beers better. There was a lot of opportunity for us to grow, and you know, it's, it was the, overcoming the challenges of being a little brewery with a little facility and having a lot of demand for the brand and trying to keep up with that. Generally, what we're, what we're focusing on are beers that are very drinkable, enjoyable, somewhat sessionable, but one of the other rules we have is we like to put a certain amount of alcohol in the beers. We don't think that really, really mild beers below 5% have enough cohesiveness. We think the alcohol really brings a lot of the flavors together. One of the big changes is that we have a brand new filtration system and that being our horizontal leaf pressure. It's basically like the Cadillac of filters. On this side, the kettle, the mash tun, this is a big homebrew system. It's a single infusion mash. We got hot water, cold water. It runs in and mixes. You read it off the thermometer. Nothing's digital here at all. The first thing we did to allow ourselves to create more beer on this system was adding the Whirlpool tank, which is just a very simple insulated tank. But when our boil's done, we transfer the word in there. We do a very large hop addition where we get a lot of our flavor. Uh, but it allowed us to run off the next batch and sort of scale up the number of brews we can get done in a yeah. certain period of time. We just completely revamped our entire facility here last year. We got a new cake filler cleaner, we got a new bottle filler cleaner for the 22s, new tanks, new filters. So part of quality is good protocols, good gear. Just with any new process that we're introducing, it's really making sure that everyone does their homework, is properly trained, and that we're all adhering to the same routine and regimen, more or less. You know, speakeasies, obviously, we're six degrees away from spirits, and so any kind of attachment or relationship we can have with the spirits world makes a lot of sense for our brand, and not to mention we all love barrel-aged beers. Spirits barrel aging is exciting. I think it's on the front end. It's mm -hmm. the leading edge of, of where beer is going, and, you know, bigger beers and beers meant to be cellared. Normally, you write a recipe. It's creative. That's fun, but it takes, you know, weeks before you try the finished product. And with us, we did our scale blend, and just in a matter of hours, you know, getting a little buzz while we did it, we created a new beer. And <laughs> that was just, like, really fun. We're like, oh, here it is. We're yeah. drinking it now. The new exciting product line that we just launched was the Syndicate Series. Every blend will be different. Uh, there's no intent to reproduce any beer from the past. It's just pure fun based on what beers we have in barrels to blend together. And it's a very artisan process. It's probably the, the most artisan thing we do here. So we opened this phenomenal little tap room, which really embodied what Speakeasy was all about, a little underground space that they could come kind of get the vibe for, uh, for what we do here. Now you go to the bar and there's just a plethora of craft beers and many of them local. It's fun to be a part of that and really sort of 
start defining what role Speakeasy is going to play in all of that? I love being able to go to the store and see our beer on the shelf. It's like, yeah, I helped with that. Part of me is most proud of the fact that we got the gold medal for the beer that we've been making for a long time, and it really was kind of considered a black sheep, I think, in the category for a long time, so that's fun. We're just putting out a good beer in a good package, and it sells. You know, that dynamic is very satisfying. It's very gratifying.